I hope you guys enjoy this collection of two-sentence horror stories that I've written. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm Fearcrawler. Welcome to the video. The first log tore through the wood chipper with very little resistance. If only I could get these handcuffs off. I finally convinced my girlfriend to park the car someplace quiet so we could get into the back seat. She didn't even see the knife. He answered the door in a pretty convincing butcher's outfit, complete with a meat cleaver and a bloody apron. Unfortunately, Halloween was yesterday. I managed to get off three shots on the unsuspecting grizzly bear cub. If only I had checked behind me for the mother first. There is nothing like cooking over a campfire. After a while, you even get used to the screaming. My compass was malfunctioning as I became desperately lost in those woods. The whispering voices around me only grew louder. A penny saved is a penny earned. I don't think anyone is coming to rescue you, Penny. I climbed under the covers and turned away from her side of the bed. The smell of her decaying was getting to me. I've never gone base jumping because it looks so terrifying. Everyone I forced out that window certainly looked terrified. It took a bit of time, but I was finally able to drill all the way through it. His skull was a lot thicker than I thought it would be. I felt the cold, clammy hand brush up against my leg. I knew I shouldn't have gone swimming here. I said my goodbyes and kissed her goodnight. Now to bury her again before anyone notices. When I was a child, I learned how to count on my fingers. My father had a whole drawer full of them he'd let me use. My friend just set the world record for holding his breath underwater. I've been holding him face down in the bathtub since some time yesterday. I got a bit startled when I turned around and saw my own face staring back at me. I really should hang it somewhere else. The floorboards were creaking loudly overhead. I gripped the knife handle tightly as I waited for them to fall asleep. The baby's cries woke me from my slumber. They were coming from the attic. I get a bit carried away when I go out drinking at night. This thirst for blood was becoming a problem. Cleanliness is next to godliness. You could practically eat off the floor in my torture room. Every year in my city, dozens of people go missing without a trace. Good thing they've never checked my cellar. The taxi driver gave me an odd look when I told him to step on it. I mustn't have washed all the blood off. When attacked by a grizzly bear, you're supposed to lay down and play dead. I just hope the same rule applied to flesh gates. Freezing to death is supposed to be a relatively painless way to die. At least that's what I told them before locking the freezer. My mother was pounding at the door to be let in. Her funeral was last month. My sister staggered into the room and collapsed onto the floor. I have no idea how she got untied. He bolted out the door screaming and vanished into the night. I guess I'm having leftovers again. He told me I could take extra candy because he liked my costume. Then I heard the door slam shut behind me. 
The little girl in white giggled and waved for me to come closer. I couldn't help but wonder how she got down inside the well. The storm was picking up speed and making visibility very poor. But if I pulled over now, he might try to escape. The laughter behind me made me jump. It was my first night working alone in the morgue. <laughs> That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, everyone take care, be safe, and above all, stay scared.